Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we're going to continue our Pikmin adventure and hopefully finish the game sooner than later. Um, we are on day 32, and as of right now, if you guys remember from last time, we left off clearing everything in the Giant's Hearth. All we need to do now is follow Louie, but before that, I want to make sure that we complete everything else. In other words, we need to go and... Uh, cure all the leaflings before we engage with Louie. So today all we're going to be doing is night expeditions. Um, obviously as we know every night expedition is one day as short as they may be. So we're going to just spend all this time uh, just doing that. So I don't know how long these are going to take. We'll probably get a good few in at least right. So as you guys can see, each one will get more difficult. Again, we're starting with level one, but you know, as we get to the other locations, they will get the difficulty will get harder. So hopefully, uh, it's not a little, it's not too boring, but at the same time, hopefully, it's not too long. Because the sooner we get these through uh, over with, uh, the sooner we can go back to the main game. Um, honestly, these night expeditions could have been a really good idea, I've, as I've mentioned before, but unfortunately, they're not. They're just a waste of time. And honestly, I'm kind of sick of them. <laughs> if we were able to just use our regular Pikmin uh, in battle normally, that'd be great, honestly. And make it more of like a survival thing while you're looking for treasure, that'd be amazing. But the fact that we were just battling it out and just surviving, you know, trying to save the Luminols, it's kind of boring, it's kind of lame. And the fact that we don't get extra Pikmin to start Besides the ones we do start with, you know, we have to go get the candy things. It's kind of boring, honestly. Alright, so we start here. This is our only we know. This is actually a really good defensive position. Uh, there is a lot of enemies, though. As you guys can see, all the spike balls. Um, there is a lot of enemies. So we do need to move fast. So I might need to uh, split us up. Maybe Ochi will go this way and I'll go that way. I'm not sure. Um, either way, uh, let's... Uh, Let's get going. So you guys do that. You guys get those. I'm gonna actually kill these guys. I missed one. I missed both. Okay. That was a big fail. Maybe I should ignore them. Uh, I'm actually going the wrong direction. <laughs> So I'm going to command Ochi to protect the blue Lumino, which, uh, oh, so it is our main one. Um, so the, the, what are they called? The, uh, Trick Nulls? Tricky Nulls? Where, where are those are called? Um, I will do them, defend them myself, I guess, while, uh, while, uh, Ochi takes care of the main, main, uh, Lumino. Okay, so let's see. We got all of those going. Uh, let's head back. They're heading. They're attacking my uh, mini one, Tricknoll. You guys are good there. Oh, she's fine there. Let's kill these guys. Oh, my God. 
So both my trick nulls got wiped out. That's okay. Not a big deal, honestly. Alright, so as you guys can see, what, it took us, what, five minutes to do this? Yeah, I wasn't talking much, but, you know, it was pretty boring stuff. It's really, really simple. <laughs> um, yeah, I honestly, this is the kind of stuff that we just don't need to be doing, but, again, like I said, I want to try and complete the game 100% compared to, like, I didn't do Pikmin 3 100%. Um, but I do want to try and pick mid 4 if I can, which means we got to cure all the leaflings. And unfortunately, we got to do this boring stuff. Um, like I said before, could have been a good concept, but unfortunately it's not. I like that we can get Glow Pikmin, which we've demonstrated we can use uh, during the main missions, the main days. And uh, they do come in handy. They are immune to all elements, therefore they can do a lot of things. But unfortunately, uh, they're just... Pick, they're just ghost Pikmin here and they don't really do much, they just fight. <laughs> hey, nice shot with the night expeditions. Oof, it was really rough out there this time. I don't get it. Why do Luminoles always, well, glow like that? If they didn't light up, they wouldn't attract so many creatures. Hmm, well perhaps the Luminoles want to draw the creatures toward them. What? But if they get hurt, they can't make glow sap. Or am I missing something here? On this world and others, there are other creatures, there are creatures who simply don't grow don't thrive if they don't experience danger. No matter how strange that sounds, it's quite possible Luminoles are like that. They need to experience danger to thrive. Um, I guess that makes sense. Shut up, Colin. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know nothing, Colin. You're not out there on the field doing anything with us. <laughs> Alright. So day 33 now. We got another cure. Let's just skip this because we really don't need to care. Uncharted Planet Tour Guide, Chewy, home planet of Nichiki, a mid-ranking travel agent at S Satella Travel. She organized the Uncharted Planet Tour to save the company from bankruptcy. Right. Good for you. <laughs> Alright, so let's get back into there. Let's get to do another one. Serene Shores, level 2. Alright, Water's Edge. So just like the last one, level increases gets a little harder uh, again I my my Luminol didn't take any damage honestly I probably should have just kept Ochi with me but oh well um, the trick nulls were killed fast but it really didn't matter the enemies really never got close and even if they did even if my Luminol takes damage it's not a huge deal either so this one looks like we gotta protect two Luminols uh, what we got Woo! This one's pretty big, actually. Um, so we're here. I'm we'll probably send Ochi to actually protect the second one. Ooh, the trick knows all the way over there. 
So you know what? I'm, uh, I'm gonna send Ochi to protect the orange one while I deal with this one. I guess I'll try and utilize my, uh, my Pikmin as much as I can. Just send a little bit here and there, just so they can start collecting everywhere. Oh boy, don't want to go that, that guy. That's for sure. Right, so I'm wasting time doing that. The other Lumino is directly south, okay. So we need to head back north this way to collect even more. Oh my god, his tongue is huge! I was not expecting him to attack me with that long tongue. But we got him. We got him. Alright, so... Trick Knoll in the north is not being attacked yet, but my Lumi Knoll is about to be attacked. Okay, so I need to get back. So we got more stuff over here. Right, so this trick mill is about to die. Else is pretty safe, I guess, for now. So I'll head back over there. Just realized the monster dropped some of these things when it died. Uh oh, look, big eyes over there. Is you okay over there? Yeah, he's okay right now. Uh, we got enemies coming over this way. Yeah, get him, Ochi! One more? Just one more guy. So that was pretty easy. Can't get up the hill. Alright, so easy enough. Ah. 
money. Okay, anyways, I just want to re recap what, you know, the thing does when it finishes. Uh, again, that one's a little bit longer, but it's still pretty, pretty fast, right? So, easy stuff. Again, this is probably just going to be a really boring video. Um, it's just Dandori, or, you know, not really Dandori vows, but uh, night expeditions that just, they just, they're not, they don't mean anything. They don't mean anything, unfortunately. But, um, it does give us a good challenge. You know, I can see uh, how certain monsters work and how they fight and how I can try and avoid them, possibly. And or, of course, we just use the charge skill and just uh, mob them to death, right? Hey, nice job with the night expeditions. No, Dingo, don't eat that, no. Oh, uh, excuse me, but yes, excellent work out there on the expedition. <laughs> you feeling a bit groggy right now? Oh, uh, no, I just dozed off for a second, that's all. As always, I'm awake and totally alert for these night expeditions. You're hearing my transmissions loud and clear, right, Alex? On the, well, on the night expedition guide, so it's okay for you to get some sleep, Colin. No, it isn't. I'm the rescue corpse comms operator. I can't sleep on the job. Besides, I always make sure to take a quick nap before anyone sets out. So I'm fine. I see. Then please, why don't you try a special concoction of mine? I call it Tired Be Gone. <laughs> You're telling me it's perfectly okay to drink something like that color? Really? Uh-huh. Sure. Why don't you all drink it and you guys all come out there with me? That way I'm not the only one protecting the Luminoles, right? Again, these guys don't do anything. So this time we got two cures. So I'm going to skip ahead. First one is Uncharted Planet Taurus Molly, home planet of Thukue. She's a streamer who came to this planet in desperate, desperate need of content and followers. Her eccentric style has, hasn't has quite caught on. The second one is Uncharted Planet Tour pilot Santi, home planet of Nijo. Currently a temp at Centella Travel, he's had many jobs over the years and seems fated to always cross paths with his rival. Whatever that means. I don't care. <laughs> Let's keep going. Back to the Serene Shores, we're doing the third one. The Sand Keep. This one's a 3 Dandori level. Danger level. Not Dandori. Dandori is when we battle the Leaflings. Danger is when we just go out and into night expeditions. So I'm seeing that we keep uh, growing our glow seed uh, inventory. Um, I wonder if once we get to the level four and fives, how hard they're going to be. I'm wondering if we uh, are going to need to use our glow seeds to help protect the. Uh, to help protect the luminals, will I have enough Pikmin in those those difficult uh, difficult ones? I'm not sure. So this one's pretty easy. They can only come from two directions: one over here and one over here. So that's kind of that's kind of lame for a little three one. This one will be a little easier. The only difficult part is it looks like there's a lot of enemies. So that will be interesting. Actually, I'm gonna have uh, Ochi stay here. That way he can protect. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna take all of these. This is actually a pretty big place. Oh my god, it just ate a lot of my Pikmin. I didn't even know I had a ton. So they're attacking the Trick Null, so I might as well engage them now. Ooh, you bit me. Oh! <laughs> 
how are we doing up there? Uchi, you're okay? Cool. Not a big deal, right? I didn't conquer. Alright, so looks like we're okay here. I'm gonna head back up. Umino is being attacked. Ochi, are you doing your job? No, he is not. Guess I'll go this way now since I have a uh, Pikmin. A lot of things up here, so that's good. something over here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> There's a lot of guys over here. Alright, so now that we take care of all these guys here, there's only one pathway in which all the enemies are going to come from, which we can see they're clearly doing. So all I just need to have my... Pick me just sit here and just fight <laughs> endlessly. As long as I mob everything, they're never gonna die. all the enemies I do. Yeah, that was it. So this one was even easier than the other two because the enemies only came from one real direction. So that's really weird that that was a thing. But oh well. So there we go. There's another one done. Um, fairly easy. <laughs> um, it's one of these that are like too easy, honestly. They should have made it so that uh, the pit of t tadpole guys I don't even know what they're called. They're not tadpoles, but whatever they're called. Uh, the pit right behind our base, that will have like seven of them or eight of them. That one should have been like blocked off until a certain point somehow. Because uh, that would have made it a lot harder if they came at the same time as the big mob was coming at, uh, up the entire mountain. The fact that I can go kill one for the other made it way too easy. Because then my the rest of my Pikmin, I have way too many they would automatically kill them all without me even trying. Welcome back for your night expedition. Hehe, <laughs> it's complete at last. Russ, what exactly have you been doing locked up in the lab all night? Behold, my latest invention. This device can perfectly reproduce anyone's voice. And this is useful for rescue work how? Hehe, <laughs> only a fool of capable of grasping the seismic implications of great scientific discoveries would ask such a question, says Colin. Or is it? Wow, Colin, really? That's a bit much, don't you think? But I didn't, I I wouldn't. Never I never say anything like that. That was Russ. What? Okay, alright. Let me let me tell you what I can grasp. It's that thi thing can is going to be a problem, so I'm banning it. Kiki <laughs> indeed. Alright. That was uh interesting. Not sure what that has to do with the story. Rescue mission day thirty-five. So again, this is one of those things where it just keeps taking our days away, right? I don't like that it does that, because now it looks like I'm taking a longer time than I should. Real estate assistant, K's, home planet of Maxima, chowder secret secretary at Tobo Real Estate, loyal to the core. He puts up with a lot of he puts up with a lot from his impulsive and unpredictable boss. Good for him. 
Yeah. Invigorating. All right, so now we're going on to the hero's hideaway. As I have shown before, this one gets even harder, doing a two, three, and four difficulty. So obviously we'll still go in order. We'll do the two one first. So based on how long these are taking, we may just finish the hero's hideaway and then probably end the video there and then finish the giant's hearth, all three of those on the next video as well as proceed on to battle Louis. We'll see. We'll see how long these take. But it looks like they're all around the same time length. So if we do these, we should be set for you know a good hour in our uh, video. All right. So we get less Pikmin to start. I wonder if the Pikmin stack every time you do a place. So we get two Luminoles. I will send Ochi. To, I will actually have Ochi protect this one. Um, we have one Trick Knoll there. Dang, you could go all the way over. That's pretty crazy. Um, not that we need to, because there's no, no uh, there's no uh, Trick Knolls nearby. So, so I'll just have Ochi stay here. And you guys take those. You guys take those. You guys take those. Here's this. Trick null. So these larva bobor type guys are still instant kill. Or almost instant kill it looks like, so should be fairly easy to wipe them out real quick. And then just keep on moving. So I'll just keep uh, collecting these things. So we can just keep getting more Pikmin. Uh, how we doing? They're not attacking the orange one yet. But it looks like there is one going for Ochis, or a couple, so uh, might need to head back in that direction. Okay, so I'm not going to head that way, I'm going to actually just head on back this way. There's a trick null under attack. So that's buying me time. So just spam that right trigger, just uh get multi-aiming going, right? There's some more things over here. Alright, cool. All right, so I'll leave the bugs for now. I'm gonna return back to the orange one, because I believe the bugs will attack soon. Oh, Ochi's protecting blue. I'll take care of these guys now over here. Alright, that's dead. What else is left? So, they're going to start moving. So, I might as well head back over here. Ochi can take out... Ooh, then, you know, this one flies. I'm not sure if Ochi can take out this one. So, I'll do this one. These guys are actually going to come up here, so I actually should have had Ochi with me this entire time. Look how easy that is. Since the Pikmin automatic could come back to me, I could just run around and just keep doing whatever I need to do. Someone over here. Once they kill him, they'll all come right back to me. He's dead. Who's left? Two guys. Ochi, can you take care of them? Oh, they're flying one, so I gotta go back. 
We gotta go. So unfortunately, Ochi can't take care of the flying ones, but I can. So this will be easy. That one. <laughs> oh, she gets stabbed. Oh my goodness. And that's that. So this one was really easy because for Ochi's Luminol, they could only come up one path. Even the flying ones could only come up one path. So that was really easy to take care of. Not to mention, even though they're all around them, of the Luminols, the monsters didn't really attack them. So that was really weird. Either I'm getting really good at this or the game's going a little too easy. But we'll see what happens on this next one. Because now I wonder, uh, we're probably going to have to run into a situation where we need to use the elevators, the airlifts, to get to locations. Maybe one of my luminals will be attacked and I can't get up there in time. We'll see. That being a thought, I may need to send Ochi to protect whichever one is on a higher level. That way if something does get past me, he can take care of it. Why does nighttime on this planet have to be so creepy? What's this? Comes, comms guy, you afraid of the dark? No, I'm totally fine with the dark and with nighttime on other planets. It's just, there's something about this place. It feels like something might jump out and get you at any moment. Haha, -ha, sounds like you're scared of ghosts. You know there's no such thing, right? Well, actually, science has yet to disprove this existence of ghosts. What? Yawn, you're into all this ghost hue? Really? No, I wouldn't say that, but there is something that's been on my mind. You ever notice how the corpses left by creatures during the day are never to be found during night expeditions? Hold up, uh-uh. Can we please stop talking about this? Right. You guys believe in ghosts? I don't. I don't. Ghosts aren't real. It's fun to think they are, but they're not. So again, we get two more cures. First one is Research Task Force Recruit Kit. Home Planet, Sugure. Sigure. Sigure. An expert in minerals and social necessities. He joined the task force to study raw materials alongside former classmate Osa. Second one is research task force recruit Como, home planet of Tagwa. Here to study hydraulic cycles, she hopes her research will save her home planet from industri industry caused ecological destruction. Interesting. So we got four more. Four more uh, leafling secure here. Let's see, so as you guys can see, we have two here and then two at the giant's hearth. So that may mean there's only one cure in each place, possibly. All right, second center, uh, second center, second place, feasting center. It's a level three, so we're going to get a little bit more difficult. Let's see how this goes. Where are the luminals this time? I'm expecting one to be higher up this time. If we have to protect at least two. But based on what we need to do, you know, through the remaining of the locations here, I think we're going to protect one luminal each. Oh god, we're landing right next to a guy. And a nice dude, no less. Alright, so, what we got? We got we got one luminal, we got a trick no over there, and a trick no over here. Uh, there's monsters up top, so that may be a concern. I wonder if they could just fly down and attack my Lumino without me knowing. So, that being said, I might need to attack them right away. My objective should probably be to head south first and then bring myself back. So I will command Ochi to stay here. So, 
We gathered quite a bit. I'm gonna head straight back now. Take care of this guy right over here. He's very mobile. I may need Ochi for this. Because as we know, Ochi is pretty strong against them. So this one, uh, they're quite stronger than before. Oh, she's dying. You're okay, Ochi. Alright, so Ochi took quite a beating there, but he was okay. Oh, there's a Trypno over here. I didn't even know this. There's also an egg. What's with this egg? Oh, quite interesting. But again, the most important thing is the luminol, so we gotta make sure that thing's alive. So it doesn't look like there's any more enemies in the south. So it's just the ones over there going after the, the trick null now. That's kind of interesting. That's way too easy. So while these guys were a lot more durable than the previous enemies, they don't put up much of a fight. Anyway, now that I have my numbers, this is too easy. <laughs> Boom. Win, win. I did this a lot faster than any of the other places we've done today. That's crazy. Alright, so it's going to be shorter than I thought, maybe. Again, we don't need to watch all the animation stuff because we know what happens. Alright. What did you guys think of that one? That was a little too easy, huh? I mean, we just charge. Charge charge <laughs> at least the last one i had to actually actively uh go and hunt them down i had to multi-press the targeting and make sure i hit all the flyers this one i just charge each big guy once i had my big army so yeah like i said we're i'm expecting each of these places now to just do one cure each hey new blood you've been how have you been using glow seeds? Well, please do. I want to know more about glow pikmin. So try experimenting with the seeds. They bunch it for me, okay? There are limits to what I can do being stuck here inside the SS Shepherd. So much, you know. Yanni, you're not conducting experiments on the glow pikmin, are you? No, no, of course not. You have nothing to worry about. Besides, the glow pikmin are fine. Fire, ice, electricity, none of them bothers them. Not even poisonous gas. So really, I can't do anything unkind to them. <laughs> and tell me, how did you figure that out? Uh, because I've experimented already, duh. How would you know, Colin? You wouldn't know because you don't go out there with me. You lazy bum. Alright, so we got another one. CEO of a telecom company. Interesting. Alpin, home planet of Konoha. His boundless ambition drove him to expand his telecommunication business into areas like space, travel, food, and entertainment. Uh-huh. Alright, good for him. Alright, let's keep going with this. So we are almost done. We need one more. This will be a four difficulty. Foot of the stairs. Alright, this one we have to go higher up, right? Like, I mean, heck, I didn't even need to go upstairs. 
Uh, I said I might need to go up on that airlift, but I didn't. The enemies came down to me. In fact, I don't even know what was even up there and how they even got down. So I'm going to guess it was one. Of the, it was the flying guys, right? They flew down somewhere and then I killed them. I'm assuming, of course. But I could have easily went up there and possibly get more, uh, more of the... Uh, I don't even know what I'm picking up. The crystals. All right, so again, we are protecting one. We got two trick nulls. Look, look at this circle of enemies. In fact, if I could loot real fast, I could take care of that group of enemies real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Ochi with me this time. I'm just gonna send one over there. He can take care of that. What's on the move here? It's interceptor type bug. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Hello? Giant egg? Oh my goodness. You guys know who this is? As creatures go, that's a sure a strange one. That's, that's sure a strange one, isn't it? Those eyes. I think it might be coming for the Luminol. That is Smoky Prog. Holy crap. Uh, he's surrounded by little guys. That's kind of concerning for me. Um, okay. Yes, stay away from Smoky Prog. Okay. Now this guy. How can I... I just get a little scared of my Pikmin. Maybe no under attack. Okay. Uh, I'm totally neglecting it because I was paying attention to the smoke frog over there. But we're okay. Um, now, I, I am curious though, how am I going to stop him? He is quite strong. And we got more guys coming. Ocean charge perhaps? Maybe. Come on guys, come on. Yeah. They seem to be freezing him if they get too close. Very interesting. Lucky Frog is dead. Got a bow board over here. Oh shoot, this guy's a huge one. Oh my god. Scary dude, man. Ooh, I got whacked. Do we have a... Uh... Oh, we do. Eh. Let's do this. I just... Oh my god, there's another smoking frog. 
Ochi! Ochi, where are you? Oh, here. Take those. Ochi! I did not expect another one to show up. But with the uh, spicy spray as well as the number of Pikmin I have, we shouldn't have any issues. So unfortunately, Smoky Frog's a downgrade from what he was before, since my Pikmin can't actually die to him. Scary, but still pulled through. But I will say, that was innovative as far as making it more difficult. But see, that's also where I said that if we were able to use normal Pikmin, he would have destroyed us. If normal Pikmin were here, they'd be dead. If you guys don't know who Smokey Prog is, go watch Pikmin 1. I did do a whole video or a whole series on Pikmin 1, 2, 3, and Smokey Prog was the only one, uh, was the only time he showed up in Pikmin 1. So go watch that as well. But that was interesting. So I believe that was it, right? That was all three uh, locations. Day 37. Harvest successful. Woohoo, we, we cured another person. And we get more glow seeds. So now even if I lose like all of my Pikmin in the main, like a main cave or something, I have a hun over a hundred seeds. I can summon a hundred Pikmin if I needed to. Well, look who's up and about. How are things going? Olimar, why are you awake at this hour? I don't know. I just woke up, I, I guess. I'm interested in night expeditions. Is it okay if I observe? Why don't you just join me? Oh, I'm sorry. Tonight's expedition just wrapped up. Bad timing on my part, then. I'll just try again next time. Yes, please. You're welcome to observe anytime you like. Why don't you just join me in the first place? You can do it. The captain can do it. Dingo can do it. Heck, Colin, you don't even need to do anything here, so you can come out there with me. You guys are all lazy bums, man. Oh, duh, our pilot. I forget his name. He can do something too. Look, he's just standing there. Right, administrator here. President of Tobo Real Estate, Chowder. Home planet of Konoha. He followed his whims in real estate for 27 years. Now he travels the galaxy, expecting his next big idea to pop out of nowhere. Uh-huh. So again, I don't care about you people. Look at all the people here, and they don't do anything. You talk to them once, and they won't say anything else after that. So as you guys can see, we have two more leaf links to here, a blue and a green. Uh, we also have two more expeditions to do. We have the Giant's Hearth. So this one's a level 3 and this one's a level 4. So we have yet to see a level 5, which gives me the impression that if we go battle Louie, we will go and find another, a, what is it, 5th, 6th location to do. Which means our Pikmin adventure will not be over this week, possibly. But we'll soon find out. I'm going to end it here though for now, just because, uh, you know, we're, clo we're closing on 50 minutes now. And there's two more locations here we can do, as well as go see what Louie's up to. So we'll save all that for the next video. Uh, but for now, that's going to be it for me. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Comment down below what you guys thought. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the channel if you can as well, because it helps. Um, yeah, otherwise we're just going to keep con continuing the night expeditions in the next video. Um, hopefully it gets a little bit more interesting. And hopefully whatever Louie's up to will be quite worth the wait. Because if it's boring, I'm going to be very disappointed. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.